Even prosecutors are not immune to drug activity and substance abuse issues. In Atlanta, Georgia police have charged a former prosecutor in Fulton County with drug offenses as well as other charges. Rain Chey, who served as the assistant district attorney for Fullerton County, was caught red-handed during a sting by law enforcement. Charges filed include possession with intent to distribute both ecstasy and methamphetamine, as well as possession of cocaine and two separate charges of firearm possession during the commission of a felony. The former prosecutor now works as a high-profile defense attorney, and his clients include many drug dealers and also cartel members and others who contribute to substance abuse and addiction in North America. After his arrest Che was released on a signature bond in the amount of $25,000. This is not the first time that Ran Che has been in the public eye, but it is the first for substance abuse and drug possession. Che worked on the Brian Nichols case as a prosecutor, and he was the defense attorney for Greg Junior. Junior was an Atlanta police officer who shot a 92-year-old woman, Katherine Johnson, inside of her home without provocation. The fact that Che possessed three different drugs, but was only distributing two shows that the attorney has a substance abuse problem and needs substance abuse treatment. Even if he does go to rehab it is doubtful that Che will be able to slide on the firearm charges or receive a suspended sentence for the distribution charges. As an attorney it would seem like the former prosecutor would know better than to start substance abuse in the first place.